Here we are today um, speaking about how teachers shouldn't have to leave their First Amendment rights at the door. Free speech is one of the most fundamental freedoms that we have. And in this case, what we're talking about right now, uh, teachers don't have free speech rights when they're coerced to pay agency fees that are under the guise of collective bargaining. Uh, but anything that the teachers union does is arguing with the taxpayer, so it's inherently political. We're here standing with Rebecca to defend the First Amendment to defend freedom of speech and to defend choice, the choice of unionized workers to choose whether to support or not support the politics of their union. I'm here today actually to support my wife. She's a teacher and she's interested in supporting the cause of uh, Rebecca Friedrich so she challenges uh, the desire of unions to take her money for causes she doesn't support. Well, I once knew a teacher in my local school district who had very strong convictions about basically how she spends her money. She spends a lot of money in helping local charities and helping people, um, but she was very uh, dismayed when she found out that her money as a teacher was actually going to support uh, groups and organizations that she opposes. And so really it is a, is a freedom issue, it's a freedom of speech issue. These are clearly political issues. If they weren't political issues, all these people wouldn't be pushed in to fight for them, right? This is a clearly a political demonstration with two sides and all of that. Um, and, and it's just, it's a lie to claim that even those agency fees are not going to political activity. Free speech is a fundamental right that we all have as Americans. It's born and bred within our Constitution, and it is one of the most core fabric rights that we have to protect. No one should be able to force you to pay for the things that you don't agree with politically. That's not what we're about, and that's not what teachers should have to do.